So Jump Festa is going on right now, and oh my god, the news is incredible, dude, all the animes. Long story short, we are getting new announcements for Yu-Gi-Oh! at Jump Festa right now. And one of the new announcements is a new card by the name of Madolce Teacher Glasolfe. This card is actually pretty interesting for the archetype, and you might be surprised at how good it is. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Madolce Teacher Glasolfe, and talk about why this card was needed for Madolce. So Madolce Teacher Glasolfe is a rank 4 Earth Fairy XYZ effect monster with 1800 attack and 2500 defense. Its materials are 2 level 4 Madolce monsters and it has the following effect. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. Quick effect, you can detach one material from this card then target one face of Madolce monster. For the rest of this turn, that monster becomes unaffected by monster effects other than its own. And its second effect is if a Madolce card is sent to your graveyard while this card is in a monster zone, you can shovel up to two cards from the graveyard into the deck. So right off the bat, we can see that this card is amazing for going first for Madolce. So obviously this is finally great for Madolce because it's a going first monster. The issue is Madolce has never had an in-theme card that can be used for going first. We have the Xyz monsters, but there was never really a good way of utilizing them when going first, so the deck would thrive much more when it lost the die roll and was forced to go second. The fact that we didn't have an in-theme going first monster was also an issue considering when Savage Strike gave us putting Sasur. Well, I mean, that's that's uh, that's a pretty annoying name to say constantly, so uh, I'm just gonna call it Putney. Anyways, the issue with Putney before we got this card was the fact that it's an absolutely incredible card for Merdolce. I mean, think about it. It's a tour guide that can special summon itself from the hand. That card was absolutely ridiculous and still is ridiculous for the archetype. But the issue before was it would thrive only when going second. However, now it we have a reason to play this card for a going first version of the deck. Glossolfi finally gives us something to work for when going first, which is just so good. Its first effect makes any phase of Madolce monster unaffected by monster effects for the rest of this turn. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but this card is absolutely amazing with fresh Sistar. That's right, Fresh Sistar isn't just used for its link arrows anymore. The synergy with Sistar is actually much better than you would expect. The first thing is Sistar has pretty decent protection, being able to shuffle a Madolce from the grave to the deck in order to prevent itself from being destroyed by battle or card effects, much similar to the Thunder Dragon monsters. However, the issue has been this card could easily be outed with something like a Nightmare Unicorn. However, Glassolve solves this issue quite well by protecting Sistar from those types of effects. So this means it actually becomes so much more difficult to out this card, considering you cannot out it with monster effects. So start now has to be dealt with with spells and traps, and with most cards this format, this is hard to do. This finally gives you a good enough reason to go first, which is just so good because you never really want to go second at all in most formats, unless your deck is inherently that good at going second. And this deck honestly is really good at going second, However, this card might just put it in a good position to go first. By protecting Sistart as well, it also protects your spells and traps, meaning it's very hard to deal with Sistart and in turn makes it very hard to deal with your spells and traps. And if you can give this deck another turn to play, well, you're in for a rough ride as this deck can very easily capitalize on that. This deck gives you very efficient resource tools to be using and it gives you good options for the following turn with a card like Queen Tier Masu. There are issues with this card, however. For example, even though Sistar gets a lot of protection, there are easy ways to deal with it. Because of the fact that it gives you only monster protection, this card can be dealt with cards like Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor, it can be dealt with with a card like Mind Control, and probably the best use would be with evenly match, as evenly match is going to take out quite a lot of resources, including the spells and traps. However, regardless of these three cards, even though two of them are standard side deck cards, and one of them is a main deck card in the most popular deck th of this format, it actually is still very hard to deal with. Thunder Dragons don't really have an efficient out, neither does Prank Kids, Altered Guys kind of have an out, but at the same time, it's not as good as you would think, and there are other ways as well. This combo is 
very annoying to deal with game one, however. Assuming you're not playing against strikers or even sky strikers just aren't a deck in the format when this comes out. However, besides just being used for protection on your opponent's turn, it can actually be really good as protection on your turn. Think about it this way. Modolce is probably going to be playing three copies of Called by the Grave. Glossolfe is basically another copy of Called by the Grave for your monsters to protect them from hand traps or any disruption monster. If you want to guarantee your monster's effect to go through but you're worried about your opponent's card, well Glossolfe is here to enable that as it just basically enables your monster to always resolve its effect. Even though Impermanence is a card, that's just a card you have to deal with and if Modolce Cheech or Glossolfe could protect from spells and traps as well, that would be even better for the strategy, however it can't, but regardless, it's still really good for protecting your monsters and making sure their effects resolve. So if you want one of your effect monsters to resolve its effect, this is the card to get you there. Even though it does require some setup beforehand, let's say later on in the turn you need to resolve a monster effect, well, this card's here to enable that. While this card won't always come up in those situations, it will come up and it will be great for those scenarios. Its second effect, however, also synergizes with the first effect, which in turn can be a going first enabler for your Chocolat a la mode and ticket. It inherently can target itself for protection and from there it can shovel cards back into the deck. So this card becomes an enabler that can be activated at any point and it gives protection and it just is so good. This is an amazing enabler for the archetype to shovel cards at any point from the graveyard into the deck regardless of whether there's Medulce card in grave or not. And another thing too is if you're playing any sort of Garnet well this card can help put them back. So so for example, if you are playing the Brilliant Infusion Engine and you draw a Garnet, if you can put that card in the graveyard, you can shuffle it back into the deck and then your Brilliant Infusion is live. So long story short, this card is a combo piece and gives the deck an in-theme going first boss monster. This will be amazing for the archetype even though it can be fragile at times and there are ways of dealing with it. It's not like it's the easiest thing to deal with however unless you're playing Sky Striker and you have three spells in grave for Widow Anchor or you drew Mind Control control evenly, etc. I cannot say for certain how viable this strategy will be after this card comes out, but it will at least make it viable in a rogue setting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the few day gap in between videos guys, I've had a weird few days but now I'm on break so that means I can make more videos for you guys and do more stuff for the channel. If you guys enjoy the content and want to support me further than just watching my YouTube videos, go down into the description and support me on Patreon. It helps out the channel quite immensely. As well, if you want to talk to me and fellow members of the community further than just the YouTube comment section, go down to the description and join my Discord server. I'd love to have you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and with that, I'll see you soon.